You know, a good while back before uh, FNAF Sister Location released it, I did a rant video on it, and, y you know, it was me just ranting about the game and doing some smack talk, as, you know, as, as people who've watched the channel know, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I talk shit about FNAF quite a bit, you know, I feel weird because of how popular it is, I like to bring a little of that uh, balance to, you know, a bit of a yin-yang thing, I guess, sort of, is that the way to really explain it? I don't know, but, you know, it astounds me that even after the game came out, and even to this current day, right, I mean, current day we've had a six FNAF game out, and this video still gets like views, likes and support and all that. People are still caring about this, you know, bringing attention and having maybe having a wee vent or two. Uh, and it's like, wow, really? Like, I know I'm not the only person in the world who said not the best things about FNAF, but am I like one of the few people that people are like coming to my videos and they're like, yeah, this guy, we can we can unload our negative feelings of the series to this guy, and I'm like, yeah, that that's cool, okay. Um, I mean, I, I know that's like one of the mo okay, maybe it's not the thing I'm known for, but I know it's like one of the higher things that people uh, point out is like, oh yeah, you 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 talk shit about FNAF, we know we we know we know those vids, and it's like, well, I've done quite a few vids on that topic. So I might as well carry on and finish off uh, my, my, the job quotation, I don't know. I might as well finish the job in, you know, two games, gotta talk shit about them. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Right, first up on the chopping block of my sarcasm and negative things to say is Sister Location itself. Yeah, I said some things and predictions about before it came out. Uh, some of those things I do think still stand, but okay, let, let me go over. First of all, I'm going to say something nice about it. I will give credit where credit is due that I think this game took baby steps in the right direction for a horror game. I really think this is still like you know a, a high class. I think this is like you know become a high class horror game. Nah, nah, it's, it's still pretty low down eh, as far as I'm concerned. But like I said, I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna give credit where I think credit is due. Um, especially for like I oh, was at night too. I think whenever whenever right. So so there's like little bits that I think they did well, and then I'm gonna go over this first because there's like eh, the the bit with like the ballerina animatronic whatever. Uh, I still don't get that, I still don't get why, oh wow, ballerina is scary, uh, I, I don't know, conspiracy that's just a fetish thing, maybe, maybe not, I don't, I, to be honest, I would trust, I, I trust Scott Cawthon more than that, I don't know, like, you know, I, I may not like the FNAF series much, but I have respect for the guy, you know, Scott Cawthon's a, an alright decent person, uh, whatever. So going on, uh, you know, it's like, okay, there's music playing, you got to move while the music plays and then you stop when it stops because, you know, uh, I don't know, she's blind, but she can, like, hear movement. I, I don't know why she's blind, you know, you, you build a robot, it's blind, it, like, tears its eyes out because horny 13-year-old fanboys uh, are, are whipping their little ding-dongs out and that's just disgusting, no... Stop that, and puberty has brought everything downhill. Um, wow. So, whatever. I don't care uh, about your damn fetishes. Keep them away from me. Uh, but it's okay. It's all right for tension, I guess. Then you've got like a thing with with Fred, and you got like charge up power. But like Fred will make a weave walk towards you so you gotta like occasionally put your power thing down and be like fuck off boy and that's that so that that's cool you do that that's where i'm giving credit and then the rest of the game is just kind of eh. okay so like the other bit was like kind of tension i could get but th th this is where it falls down because you got the thing with uh was it foxy right and it's like okay what you do you, you like You've got a flashlight, which it literally just flashes for a second. It's like you're carrying a go down camera with you. Uh, it flashes, you take a step. What you do is like, well, you flash step, flash step. Good. You've, you've, you, you've won it all uh, in this challenge. Cool. Uh, and it's, it's just like, no, whatever, pointless thing. I don't know. That, that bit was kind of stupid, I felt. 
So then you kind of do a thing that's like, oh, you have to do mechanical stuff. I, I say fix and upgrade, but it's like more of a check up. You just click some bits and you're done. I, I kind of wanted to make a comparison to like Trauma Center because you're like following instructions and stuff, but it's like. That, that's not really even a good comparison, like, I, I guess Trauma Center, but it's like really, really watered down and you have like no tools or anything, uh, all you need to do is click the right uh, parts of his like face or belly or whatever, uh, you know, then afterwards you've got the night where, you know, you're in uh, one of the like animatronics and it's like, it's basically a death trap and you need to like get out of it and it's like something out of a Saw movie. Kinda, but not quite. Uh, I, I don't know, it's weird, but I, I guess I saw a reference in a FNAF game is something I never saw coming, so that's kinda cool, I guess. I don't know, I'll let people decide on that one if they think that's cool or not, because I don't know what to think about a, a saw reference in FNAF. That, it surprised me, I never saw that coming. But after all, I've said, oh boy, th then you get to night five and it's like, okay, so you can have a thing of an ending where you listen to an animatronics instructions and get yourself killed. Well done for for being a, a trusting lad. Uh, actually, is, is that ending like, do you need to get that ending? I don't know. I don't remember. And I'm being too lazy for research. I'm the worst person alive. How how dare I? Cool. Uh, but oh, oh boy, I need to talk about this because... So, so after you like do the game, there's like a bonus -y thing you can do of uh, unlocking like a secret ending. So you can get this like bonus night, um, and it's like, oh wow, it's it's a reference to the the first FNAF, uh, you know, a, a reference from like one maybe what two years ago. Yeah, wow, great reference. But I mean, I, I guess for the people who really like FNAF and have been through a series, I guess it's a kind of cool thing. I, I don't know, maybe I'm being way too nice and generous in this. Uh, but I, I mean, is it really that much of a, a wow throwback if, um, you know, you're. I mean, I mean, a lot of the games have very similar mechanics, like maybe 4 and this one were a bit different, but. I mean, come on. Come on. And I've made comments before on some animatronics in the series looking kind of stupid, but this... Beware of the ultimate animatronic, the clusterfuck, with, with a clown mask thing. Uh, like, I, I really don't know, like, th this thing was an art. it's called, like, what is there to take seriously about this thing? This thing is just... The, the, the personification of unseriousness. Like, I know this thing is supposed to be a, a, a sort of fusion... A, a mix-up of, um, you know, the, the four animatronics, but really, like... It, if there's one thing I do have to say about this thing, it's good for a, a fusion of memes. Like, look what I've made here, this is art. I know there's, like... The, the FNAF books, but I really don't care enough to go out of my way to read two books on, and uh, like, no, I don't care enough. If it means anything, I, I read the, the blurb of the first book once, and it was like, oh, hey, so imagine, like, your typical, like, slasher film, uh, except it's a book. That, that That's basically what I got from the blurb, and I, I don't know how that would go. Like, if... I don't even know, like, does that mean the movie's going to be, like, a, sl a slasher movie? Don't know, but, uh, Freddy has a long way to go if he wants to, like, match up to your boy Jason Voorhees. And then there was the Pizzeria Simulator, which I don't even know how I can talk about this, because this is... A, a weird, weird, weird game. Uh, so, so like, it's an Atari game thing, but it's actually not. It's only like that for like one minute. But then all of a sudden you're in like this room. I don't know, it feels like an interrogation room, but you're like examining the, the animatronics, you know, to get parts from them, but you're trying not to get killed by them. It, it, it's a weird thing. But then it actually, like, becomes a, a simulator game where you're, like, running your own pizzeria. 
I, I don't even know, it's just a weird, a, a weird thing. I mean, I, I would get suspicious with a Fazbear Pizzeria Simulator because it, I don't know, there's something that just makes me feel, oh, it's so similar to Doki Doki, but there was a good uh, release date gap between them, I guess, and uh, I guess, you know, I, I know certainly that Doki Doki wasn't exactly, you know, the game that, you know, took players for a loop and was like, oh, here's one thing, but it's actually another, because I know there was stuff like, uh, oh, what was it, Pony Island, and, like, like I guess to a lesser extent, what, was it so the Drinker Pro kind of did that? It, like, those games existed, uh, but I, I, I don't know. It, it's just weird that, you know, you, this horror game... You know, Doki Doki does a, does a thing and it's alright, and then you've got a uh, Fazbear Pizza Radio Simulator and it's... I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. It, it's, it's just so weird, but I, I guess is that part of the charm? I have no idea. And, okay, you know, I mean... Pizzeria Simulator has its like mishmash of like your general FNAF mechanics with the you know simulator thing you do you know you jump between those two things you do your interrogation -y things uh, for getting parts of uh, animatronics it's it's a weird mishmash of things but it's okay I get I don't know I don't really think much of it personally I guess for a FNAF fan it, it would be great uh, but you know what there's one good positive thing uh, I, I can say about Pizzeria Simulator closure because like, like I said I did my like, little bit of looking into the game because I'm like yeah no I'm gonna eventually get back to taking the piss out of these games again you know Finaf, my favourite really victim when I found out that this game has a, an ending that kind of like brings things to an end to a sort of closure I'm like is this it? Is this what I've been waiting for for a long time? Is this series finally going to be put to rest? Like, I'm sorry, I'm probably, like, in fury and all the, the FNAF fans are like, you know, no, we want at least 50 of these games. Like, you know what? I think, I really do think that the whole, like, you know, you're, it's sort of typical basic jump scare formula. I think Scott Cawthon has done his best and he's stretched it out as much as he can. Uh, you know, I like to imagine that he's, he's finally ready to put it to end for good. I mean, for God's sake, remember when, like, what was it, 4 was called the final chapter? Uh, and then it turned out not to be the final chapter. Uh, whatever. Is this it? A lot? Is, is this it? Is it, you know, the last game here where it's going to be put to rest, you know, the movie's eventually going to come out and that's it, we never have to hear of this series again? At the end of the day, you know, opinions on the internet, wow, but people can like what they want. Uh, and, you know, people are fans of this series, I guess. Uh, I am personally not. But, I, I don't know, it's like, I really hope that the series comes to an end, and also it would be convenient because then I can stop talking about it. I don't know. It's like, okay, yeah, it was my thing to go after it and smack talk it, uh, but I feel you can only talk shit about FNAF so much until you start repeating yourself. Uh, just like how the game repeats it, it's jump scares, am I right? Haha! <laughs> um, but it's. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know if it was like always from this video, but I really did not have much to say about either Sister Location or um, Pizzeria Simulator. So, uh, okay, I've, I've done this. I took everything I could, smack talked it. That's this video made. I hope that the, the people who enjoy seeing me, you know, talk shit on FNAF, I hope you got what you wanted. I thought, you know, what you wanted, and you're like, yeah, he, he did it. But. Really, really I'm, I'm done talking shit about FNAF because I'm just so fed up with it. <laughs> like, it, it was something I could, t t you know, take the piss out of and I'm just like, oh my god, it's the, the, the one millionth FNAF game, do I even care at this point? Not really. Uh, I just want to, like, let it be in the corner and not care, but, uh, you know, I've done my shit talk, because uh, well, why not? One last shit talk. I might do another one on the movie if I somehow just end up watching it maybe but that's not a guarantee